Hello and welcome back to another episode of Notion Bonsai and today we're going to be working on an apple tree that I grew from a seed. So this is the apple tree here. As of now this tree is about two years old and as you can see it's quite tall. I got the seed for this apple tree inside an apple, not like in a little packet that you would find in like a garden center. And for the first year, I didn't touch it whatsoever. I just let the little seedling grow and get healthy. Then after one year, I put a little bit of wire around the trunk here. You can see it's got this sort of S curve as it goes up. And then from then on up, it's just straight. So this is a tree that anyone can work on. You can start growing it yourself. It takes two years to get something like this from a seed. And I also really like growing bonsai from seed because you're there throughout the entire process of growing the tree. And I have an apple tree from about 50 years ago that my grandmother planted from seed. This is it here. And what I'm going to do this year is air layer the top off of this tree to see if we can get a little short tree, maybe this size. If you haven't seen the video about this apple tree, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. And there's a lot of you guys in the comments saying that this tree just couldn't be 50 years old because it's so short and the trunk is so skinny and it doesn't really look anything like a bonsai. You see, only really now is this tree beginning to be worked on as a bonsai. Throughout its whole 50 years in my grandmother's garden, it was just sort of grown as a garden tree in a pot, cut back any old way every year and not really let to grow super tall and thicken, which is why it's the same thickness the whole way up the trunk here. Anyways, let's work on this little apple tree. And the tools that I will be using today are some tweezers, a root hook, or you can use a chopstick, a root rake, or you could use a bent fork, root printing shears, some branch cutters, wire cutters, and some gin pliers. So I'm going to start by using the tweezers to remove any of these little weeds that's just growing on the soil here. This way, whenever we repot and we want to reuse the soil, there isn't weeds mixed through everything. I'd love to hear in the comments, have any of you guys grown your own bonsai from seed? What kind of species did you use? So I've got away the majority of weeds on the top here. And now we're gonna get this tree out of the pot. I always like to use this thing whenever I do my repots. This is just a big massive drip tray for a big massive pot. It just catches all the soil so there's no mess. Right. There's a worm in this here. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna keep this and put it into the soil of one of my other trees because the worms are quite beneficial for the soil. So I'm just gonna start by taking this root hook and raking away the top layer of soil just to see how far down the trunk on this goes. See on the surface here the beginnings of a very nice nibari, which is the surface root flare comes down and sort of spreads out, and it already looks like it's gripping the soil. So I would quite like to keep these roots in this area. On the other side, there is another few here, which is pretty good. Just seeing what I have to work with for now. It's going to continue to rake away the soil. I'm going to switch now from this hook to the root rake. The soil that I have this in is quite composty, which doesn't seem to be doing the tree any harm at the moment. It's helped it grow in the first two years. But I think I would like to get this into a lot more free draining soil just to help the roots out. So I've loosened up quite a lot of soil now. As I go, I'm working away from the trunk. You never wanna go across the ways because you may tear through some roots. The idea is to promote lateral growing roots so that whenever the tree's in a nice shallow pot, it's got lots of roots in this direction to keep it nice and healthy. So I think I'm going to do something quite drastic. And I can see at the very base of this tree, there's a big thick taproot that comes down. And at the bottom of the taproot is a bunch of all these roots here. But above the taproot, there is other side shoots of roots coming from the trunk. And I believe there is enough up here to feed the tree once I'm finished pruning the top. So I think I can remove the big thick tap root that everything is connected to. Let's see here. If I come in with these cutters here, just cut. Oh, that's quite a lot of root, look at that. That's a lot of root that we have removed there. But this is what we're left with now, a nice flat base. I can just come in here and refine that cut, I can shorten this root, a little bit too long. So I've just given these roots now a nice wash and we can really see what's going on. 
This is the underside of the root ball. To me, this is a perfect progression of this tree's roots. Now I would just like to shorten all these roots around here. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. And because we are repotting in spring, all the energy has already moved up the tree. As I can see, some of the buds are beginning to open. So it's completely fine to repot at this time of year. Before I get this into a pot, I'm gonna reduce the height of the tree because as I put it into the pot, it's a little bit top heavy, wants to fall over. So just to make repotting a lot easier and we don't end up damaging the tree in any way because it could fall over and maybe tear a root or something. Now it may seem like a waste cutting the tree quite low and you're going, oh, I'm losing all of that. If you want to, you could air layer the top off of the tree, but all of this on the tree has not grown in vain. It has done its job of growing long to thicken the base down here. Now I could cut the tree right here at the very bottom just to have that as the new leader. I could cut it here, that's another option, to have this as a new leader. You could maybe cut it here, have that as a new leader. You could even cut it here and have this as a new leader, but I think I would like to play the long game. I'm gonna cut it here at the very lowest branch. So that's what we've got now. Little tiny tree. I'm just gonna come in and clean up this cut here. And I'm just gonna seal this with a little bit of cut putty. The cut putty that I have put on this wound will stop the tree losing any extra moisture out of that area. It'll also promote healing in that area. And on top of that, it's antifungal and antibacterial, so nothing can get in and infect the tree. I'm gonna pot this up in this little plastic bonsai training pot. I think it looks pretty good like that. We don't need to add drainage mesh in the bottom of this pot as the training pots already have it in it, which is really handy. I'm gonna take some two millimeter aluminum bonsai wire. I'm just gonna feed the wire through the bottom of the pot. These pots are great because they already have tons of wire holes also, and they're quite inexpensive. And this soil mix is a mix of pumice, academa, lava rock, and I'm also gonna mix in some sphagnum moss. Gonna mound up a little hill here in the middle. I'm gonna put the tree on top of this, just making sure there's no air gaps underneath. I could go down a little more. And I'm gonna just wire this into the pot. By wiring a tree into a pot, it prevents it from moving, which helps the little fine new roots develop. If a tree moves and you've got little new roots growing, it can slow down or even kill off any new roots. Now I'm gonna take a chopstick and just work out any air gaps. Being very careful not to stab the roots too hard. And I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Although it doesn't look like much at the moment, it's just a stick and a branch coming off to the side. I'm gonna then train this tree to develop this as the new apex and leader and pretty much do nothing to it, maybe for the next year or two or three, depending on how quick it grows. And I do know apple trees grow pretty fast. So I think maybe in two years time, I could then do another styling on this tree. And even if you wish to, after you've cut a piece off of your tree, probably take cuttings off this, like a heel cutting or a nodal cutting. And I could almost guarantee that it will root. I have just stuck some branches off apple trees in various pots around my garden and not one of them has failed. I think apple trees root very, very easily and without rooting hormone also. I'm sure if you added rooting hormone, it would increase the chances even more. But all that's left to do now is to give this tree a water. And on that, I'm gonna end off this video right here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on this video. It really helps out the channel and the YouTube algorithm a lot. And let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. I know it wasn't the most exciting, but in bonsai, sometimes all you have to do is reduce the roots and do a trunk chop. And if you wanna keep up to date with the things that I do off camera, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Notion Bonsai. But on that, thank you so very much for watching.